this example, we are going to be adding a UI item to the spreadsheet, and we can select any one of anywhere on the sheet, any of the rows that do have the data. So we have a username and an email, and selecting that, and then from the tabs at the top, the UI menu, under functions, we click email, and that will automatically send an email to that user and to that email address that we have from the spreadsheet. So that was to Lawrence Svekus 3. So it's going to be a quick example of how you can add an item to the UI menu of a spreadsheet, how you can get the content from the spreadsheet, and then ultimately how you can send an email to the content that's coming from the spreadsheet. So that's all coming up in this lesson. I've got an example of a spreadsheet in the first column. I've got a username. The second column has an email. So we want to be able to click and send an email to that user. This is a bound script. So I've opened up the script editor in this window. And we want to select first off by updating the UI. So let's create a function. And this function is going to be the trigger for the on open. So whenever the sheet gets opened, we're going to be updating, adding to the UI. So creating and selecting the UI object from the spreadsheet. So from the spreadsheet app, and then using the method to get the UI object, this will select the UI. And then once we have the UI object, we can create a menu and whatever we want to give the menu the label of and I can just call it functions. So that's what's going to show up to the user. And we can add as many items as we need into here. Uh, so this one is just going to be sending the email. And then we also need a function. And I'm just going to create a function, call it sender email. And then lastly, we add to the UI and run that function. So we need to also now create a function sender email and this is the function that's going to act as getting the data and then ultimately sending the email so let's uh, select our sheet that we want to use and using the spreadsheet app selecting and getting the active spreadsheet so getting the active spreadsheet and getting the active sheet and selecting the range. So from the sheet object, let's get the active range. And for now, we'll log that into the logger. And we'll see what the current active range is. Let's run. And we're going to first run the on open. So that will add the menu item. So we've got that functions and then email. And it looks like we, we threw an error there. So script function not found, sender email. So let's see what happened there. And this actually needs to be a string. That's why it's throwing an error. So save that, and that's the string name for the function. So once we hit the function email and select one of the cells, this is outputting to the logger, but we don't actually see the logger. We can also test the sender email function and see what's getting returned back for the range. And from the range, we actually want to get the content from the range. So get values. And we'll see what that's returned back in the values. And this should be a function that gets invoked. So it's returning back whatever our current value is. And we can use that value, but we do want to make sure that we are getting the actual row. And we know that we've got the emails in the second row. So in case the user has selected that as the active cell, we want to be able to pick up the row value. So instead of the range, what we want to do from here, instead of getting the values, we want to get row and see what that gets returned back. And so now we're in row three. So what we want to do next is we want to select that email address from the spreadsheet. So let's make that selection. And we've got the row. So selecting from the sheet. And we can need to be, we're going to need to be specific on the range that we want to make the selection. So using the get range method, 
we're selecting the range. So the row for the range is going to be whatever we've got from that original range that we selected. And then the column that we want is going to be column number two. And we're just picking up one item from each of those. So that should output the email address. And we'll just double check as we build the application. So let's run send email. And it's actually returning back a range. And that means that we're ready to get the actual value. So we can chain together the get value. And once we get the value, that will return back the value of this uh, of that particular column from the row that's been selected by the user. So that gives us the email address. And now we can send the email to that user. So we've got an email. And let's now select that email. And we'll create a couple other values there. So the message. And the message can say hello to the user. So the same way we got the email, we know that the user's name is within the first column. So let's get the value for the user. And that's going to be the value from the first column. So within the message, hello. And then this will just whatever the user is. So that's our message. Subject sheet email tester. And then now let's use the mail app in order to send the email. And we do have all the parameters. So we've got the email, we've got the subject, as well as the message that we want to send. And this is going to require additional permissions to send the email. Uh, so let's try it out and we'll. Uh, We'll update these so these are actually going to be different so that I can distinguish which one that we just sent from. And I'll just increment these. So now we can select one of those and we'll select it, the function. And we need to approve the permissions to send the email. So go through the permissions, advanced, and then under the sheet, go to the sheet. Uh, these are the permissions that I've granted to the script to run. And now we can check our email. And there we see we've got the security. Let's try to run it manually to see what happens. And it looks like manually it did send it. And now let's double check and see if we can trigger that function to run. And there's our email coming in. And so we see that it says to Lawrence Svekis 3. Uh, let's select on this row. So it actually doesn't matter where on the sheet we're selecting it, as long as we're on the right sheet with the users and the names and the emails. And if we click email, then it will send the email that corresponds to the content on the sheet.